Handling and discrimination scent work trials are unique to the American Kennel Club and the United Kennel Club. What makes it unique is that you are the target odor. So in this episode, I'm gonna teach you how I train my dog to find me. Let's get after it. Bit about the setup. In AKC novice handler discrimination, the handler said an item is placed in a cardboard box. The dog must discriminate between 10 identical boxes and indicate which box holds the article. One of the other boxes holds an article sent it by the judge, while the other eight boxes are empty. If you're learning handler discrimination in a class environment, like in a club or something, handler discrimination will usually be the first event so that the teams do not contaminate the search area with other target odors. And if you're training at home, you probably want to go ahead and make sure you make a deliberate separation between the two as well. So let's talk a little bit about the equipment and the materials that you may need. At the lower levels, you'll be able to compete with a sock. At the higher levels though, you're gonna need even more precision. You'll be competing with something as small as a cotton ball. The person handling your target scent will bring a fresh box over to you and you'll just drop the sock or the cotton ball inside the container. Let's talk a little bit about setting the odor. There are a few ways to do this. You could run in the target socks and seal them up for later use. You could sleep in your socks if that's your thing. You could store the socks in your dirty clothes hamper. You could keep it in your bosom area or anywhere close to your skin or simply rub the odor somewhere against your your body thoroughly. Bottom line, you need to cook the odor to make it very obvious to your pup what he or she is looking for. Unlike the essential oils we usually work with, our human odor scent cone tends to be much less. Your pup will really need to hunt it out. That means maybe even leveraging the seams of the container for a hint of your odor. As is the same with most of canine scent worker nose work, let's talk a little bit about building value to odor. But real quick, you can get a complete rundown of my basic method for training this if you just click or tap the screen right here. So I'm going to place the burnt end sock in a container and reward the the dog for placing his nose on the sock with my scent. This is the foundation. Right now what I have is my scent placed on the sock inside of this box. I'm going to place a treat inside of the box along with the sock and then I'm going to give him his cue which is different in this instance from when we normally search for the essential oils and have him gain that association that finding this scent is exactly what I'm asking him to do. Let's demonstrate that now with my German Shepherd dog Disney. Seek. Place. Seek. Yes, good, very good. Place. So at this stage, you don't even really have to mark it with a yes because the dog is rewarding himself by receiving the treat and just gaining that association that this smell is something that he needs to look for. And that's basically how the first drill will go. It's really simple. You don't really have to say anything. It's just his nose is getting in that scent cone and he knows there's a treat right there with it. And now we're gonna associate that behavior with a slight hesitation. We're gonna mark it with a yes, but we're gonna treat its source odor. The treat itself is not going to be right there with the scent, my scent. Disney Seek. Yes. Good. Seek. Yes. Good. And initially when you start, you don't even really have to have a cue word. After a couple of iterations, they'll get it and then you can start to place it on cue. Once again, we're appealing to the dog's natural curiosity and creating a positive association with that particular scent. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna add a placebo box that is completely empty. It's very small at this point, and then you slowly build up and adding the additional boxes. Move the boxes around. Right now the box is just empty, but what you wanna do with the next step is add a different sock with someone else's odor, like a friend or a spouse or something like that. So your dog is actually discerning with a couple of smelly things in the area. But that's a little bit more advanced. Right now, we wanna make sure that he understands that the value is coming from finding me. Right now, I just have a blank box next to it. You can add other boxes and then you can add additional scents as distractions. The same as would happen in an actual competition when the judge has another scented item in the stack amongst the 10 boxes. See? Yes. Good. You wanna start the search very easy so that you set your dog up for success. Over time, you can slowly cover or close the container. My dog is probably using a couple of his visual indicators. He can clearly see there's a sock in this box. You wanna slowly close the container so that you're sure that your dog is actually using his nose. I know which one it is because I have a circle on my placebo one. The other one is not marked, so I know which one actually has my sock in it. So I'm gonna move these around just briefly and identifies my scent. Seek. Yes, good. Seek. Yes, good. But remember, dogs do not generalize as well as people do, so you wanna make it really obvious what you're asking your dog to do, and then slowly increase the difficulty only once you are getting consistent success at the early stages with your pup. Start with one container, and then begin to add additional ones. And we're gonna slowly add another box. Seek. 
Yes, good, very good seat. Good job, Disney, you found it. Rotate the containers around and continue with the search, reinforcing when your dog has identified the target odor. You, of course. The next phase is putting the search on cue. For handler discrimination, I do recommend that you do your part to differentiate this search from when your dog is searching for the essential elements such as birch, anise, and clove. For instance, I'll tell Disney to search when we're looking for the oils, and I will tell him, find mommy, or seek when looking for handler odor. You can use something different, but keep it consistent to this type of search. You can even consider switching the outfit or the equipment altogether. For example, instead of running your dog in a harness, maybe use their collar instead to add even more of a differentiating factor to the handler discrimination search. I'm gonna link to a freemium below in the description so you don't have to memorize all the basic steps we just covered, but feel free to download that at your leisure. Be sure to check out these videos right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, continue to get after it.